Let's see how long it takes for the system to re-link after we remove the power from the receiver. Turning it on and wait till we get a link. There we go, we're all linked. Everything's now working. So I will turn the receiver off and I'll move the stick. So as soon as it comes back on again, you'll see that servo move. And here we go. That was pretty damn quick. Let's try it again. Virtually instant. Excellent. It seems like the, the long delays of years past when Spectrum would, uh, would take a, a long time to reboot have gone. Um, it seems to come back pretty much instantly. That's very good work from Spectrum JR. Most happy with that. I also noticed that the, the lights on the receiver are flashing, which indicates obviously that we've had some kind of issue during that flight because the power went off. Very good indeed. That's quite good stuff. So what's the bottom line on the Spectrum DSM-2 JR 2.4 gig system? Well, they seem to have the reboot time lick. That's almost instantaneous. The reboot voltage is still a bit high for my liking at around about 4 volts or so. But let's face it, if you're running a good battery system, 6 volts, A123s, whatever, that shouldn't be an issue. If, you, if your receiver is rebooting, then you've got bigger problems than your choice of 2.4 gig radio system. Um, I think... The fact that there are so many people flying DSM-2 in various systems, be them Spectrum or JR, is an indication that 99.9% .9 of the time this thing works perfectly adequately. Now, as you've seen in the other article I've got on the website, there is the very, very rare occasion when the Spectrum system puts out this little kick me sign and says, if there's strong interference about on this very narrow range of frequencies, I'm done for. Um, Spectrum could, or JR or Spectrum could fix that really, really easily with a firmware update. I'm hoping they will do that, and, and hopefully that may reduce the number of previously unexplained lockouts that some, I must stress, some Spectrum users have encountered from time to time. If they fix that, it would be pretty damn good in my book. If they don't fix it, then, to be totally honest, I probably wouldn't use it in a big, expensive model because there are better systems around. Remember, DSM and DSM-2 came out some years ago now. It's starting to show its age. It's only using two frequencies, where everyone else is using three, four, 20, 80 frequencies on the, on the, on the uh, 2.4 gig band. So it's a bit behind the eight ball now. Although, to its credit, when they have made changes, they've been largely backwards compatible, which, I can't, which can't be said for some of the Chinese manufacturers who, like Corona, have left uh, a myriad of users with now out-of-date equipment in the, in the wake, and all they can do is upgrade to the newest version. Um, Spectrum and JR have taken care of their customers, which is very good, but there's a price to pay for that, and that price is the one in a thousand uh, situation where it plonks its two channels right beside each other and says, kick me. So that's it. Um, hopefully I'll get some other brand name gear to review. This was a loan set, so no, you're not going to win it. Um, it was loaned to me by a friend. I hope to get a fast system, which I'll put through similar places. And remember, I will be comparing all of these systems at the end for a number of factors, including their ability to reject interference and a whole lot of other stuff. So we'll do up a big um, chart showing which is best in which area. Uh, thank you for watching this review of the Spectrum DSM-2 radio control system. If you've got any comments, pop them on the comment box below this video if you're watching this on the YouTube page, or you can go to the rcmodelreviews.com and just email me uh, and I'll have a read of it and maybe pop, pop it up on the web page. Who knows? There's also a Google group facility at the moment. Don't know how long that'll be there, but it's an interim measure until I get some forums going on the rcmodelreviews.com website. So thank you for watching. Tune in again. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because the more subscribers I have, the more you'll get to see on the rcmodelreviews.com YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.